One good deed deserves another. What kind of hunter gets caught in his own trap anyway? That, uh, <clears throat> that was an isolated incident. I won't make That's that error again. That's what you fell into that hole last month. That was a separate isolated incident. I've got a lot of isolated incidents. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur! Dutch! <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw! Mr. Pearson! Put everyone to work! Make this place a home! Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. And we're live. Welcome back to part 62 of Free Rum Fridays, where we free rum with Arthur in chapter 3. Well, friends, we made it to Clemens Point. And first things first, we really need to upgrade literally everything. Very annoying not having the Legend of the East satchel or fast travel. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. And if the prices look off to you, don't worry about it. It's because we have the Ultimate Edition, and in addition to an outfit, a free horse, and a bank job in Chapter 4, we also get camp discounts. And here's Kieran. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. I like how Kieran's a little shy here. He hasn't found his place in the gang yet. He's much more comfortable with the horses. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> and I guess we need to find Kieran some burdock root. However, first we need to go to Strawberry and get us a Brindle Thoroughbred. Arthur has a lot of hunting to do. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah, now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant
Mission is your problem. Howdy. We have a dapple gray thoroughbred we picked up from one of those bison poachers with Charles. She's nice, but she's no brindle. Good morning to you. Hey, friend. I'll give you a fair price. And at these stables currently only have males. Arthur prefers females. We can exit and reload or we can just come back. Real good one. Also, we have very little cash and cannot even afford a brindle at this point. So there it is. We tried as best we could to avoid all of these strangers in Chapter 2. However, we had no fast travel, and we had to save this Joker. <laughs> you sure you want to thrum my last nerve? It's you! Oh my goodness! Hey, I can't believe it! We can linger for some extra dialogue. I was just talking about you. How a complete stranger Boy, saved sir. me from certain demise. A fine thing to do, helping a feller out like that. I hoped I'd run into you again. I'd really like to pay you back in some way, you know? Hey, I, I got plenty of credit at this store here. You know, you pick out anything you want, free of charge. All right, sounds good. Oh, that's real nice. One good deed deserves another. What kind of hunter gets caught in his own trap anyway? That, uh, <clears throat> that was an isolated incident. I won't make that That's what error you said again. when you fell into that hole last month. That was a separate isolated incident. I've got a lot of isolated incidents. Anyways, I'd best be making tracks. Hope you feel better soon. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, sir. A lot of isolated and separate incidents. Completely understandable, especially with that epic mustache. Have come back to this town. What do you need, partner? Feather outside, got bit by his own trap. He said he'd cover me if I put something on his tab. I'm the reason he still got that leg. Oh, that idiot. A few folks around here would rather you'd left him there. But hey, if that's what he wants, take a look around. Let's go see what the catalog has on offer. They have weapons here. Well, a very small stock of weapons. Better than nothing, I suppose. Let's look at the outfits. The Falkton is regrettably locked as we did not work on our honor at all in Chapter 2. I have always liked the gold tones of this outfit. And the Milisani. If you cannot unlock Mr. Pearson's scout jacket, the Milisani may suit your needs. And the Cumberland. I do not believe we have ever purchased this outfit. We usually go for the Falkton or the Milisani. And here is the Dalton. I really feel Arthur isn't completely dressed without a vest. It is 1899 after all. And the Corson. Arthur hates flat caps as much as John hates condors. Perhaps more. This isn't Peaky Blinders. We are in Red Dead Redemption 2. I guess we'll go for the Cumberland. I do like that gray paisley vest.
Good choice. I'll let him know. And as long as we are here, we might as well sell some items as we need the cash. Mm -hmm. Deal. And we shall immediately change back into the Super Antonio outfit. I know a lot of you want a new outfit for Arthur, especially a new hat. However, I used this outfit to differentiate my videos from all of the other Red Dead Redemption 2 videos on YouTube. It's branding. The same with the horse mohawks. I also name all of Arthur's horses Super Antonio. You may have noticed that. It makes a subtle watermark, and it's free advertising from Rockstar. The only horses I will not name Super Antonio are Biscuit, Buell, and Rachel. In early playthroughs, I used to like to name horses after the towns and points on the map Valentine, Strawberry, Scarlet, Denise, and Isabella. <laughs> Moving on. Back at Emerald Ranch, we need to pay off our bounty from that minor altercation we had in Valentine at the end of Chapter 2. Hey! I got a base somewhere. Yep. Good to see you back, sir. Glad to see you on the up and up. I wish it wasn't raining and I would normally exit and reload the game to get some good weather for the video. However, I am enjoying letting the camera run these days and putting up these free roam Fridays with minimal edits. Doesn't make it any easier for me, I just enjoy the challenge. Got it, friend. You're back. Okay, let's go visit Seamus and get rid of some of this junk we collected. This must be an heirloom, huh? Oh, yes. People lose these all the time. Hmm. Now, where did you get this, I wonder? Been a pleasure doing business with you. And back to Strawberry.
Hey there, mister. I got space for you if you need stabling. Look at that beauty. All good things come to those who wait. I can give it a good home. We also need to start looking for snakes and upgrade that saddle. Currently we are using the complimentary Ultimate Edition Nueva Paraiso saddle. A well-groomed horse is a real sign of class. The Brindle Thoroughbred is easily in my top three horses. The evidence is anecdotal at best, however I am convinced that this horse is the greatest hunter in the game, in the sense that Arthur is able to find more three star animals with this horse than any other. Your results may vary. All I know is if I have to do any series hunting where perfect pelts are essential, Arthur will be requiring a Brindle. Let's go home. Easy, girl. We do have to knock out some missions here before we can get situated. Most of those will be offline, though I may show you some highlights if Arthur finds them interesting. We need to make it all the way to horse flesh for dinner so we can get Cerberus. And of course, we need to take that wagon ride into town with Mrs. Adler so she can get her signature outfit. We're not going to show that mission because this is Free Roam Fridays, not the full game commentary. However, this is one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. Also note, Arthur has a blue paisley vest for season two instead of red. Oh, say whatever you do, Will, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? I really like how Mrs. Adler looks here. Sadie will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail in the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast related content, and our Discord. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Ad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur isn't usually a peacemaker, and that's not in his skill set. However, you know he's always had a soft spot for Mrs. Adler. I am glad she's doing better and settling in. A lot better than Kieran, I might add. On Fridays, we free roam. I'll see you in part 63.
This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe.